Hello and welcome back to Capture Farm with us here today is on Model Farm, week 18, season 2. There's a lot going on, um, silage is being made, although there's a lot of issues with it. So let's get into it. Start off here, the red pot below just parts up, the Anmar's out on a job, um, down at Sean's yard actually, because we don't really have the time to be doing our own contracts and work with it. So he's hired it off us for a few weeks and it very cheap to him. Um, but yeah, it's just parts up there because it's not really at his yard at the moment. And then over here we've got Mike's pickup and Ian Zandrover, a couple of the Anmar buckets, the trencher and the four foot I think it is bucket, then the saw is there and the double bale dump which will be coming out soon. Um, Jack Zandrover, we had a diesel delivery the other day, we see the pipes off and fueling up and stuff this morning, it needs to be coming up a bit better, it's probably Jack doing a half job of everything, although it is a machine just fine. So, um, We've got the cord for the sprayer, we let Rick uh, lent it out to some friends that have a livery yard and they're spraying some water paddocks with it, they might buy it off us eventually. The grab is being moulded out, we're going to have to buy a new hitch mount, has a slight crack in the routine to head with the rest of the grab is solid but the, uh, we're going to need to completely buy, as you can see the pins will come out so we'll have to build our own or get a new um, Happen, it goes in the digger because that grabs originally before and then the coon um, baler is sat in the shed it all, the new belts and pins that it needed have been put in there with a couple of bearings it's all greased up ready to go for hay which will be middle to the end of June with the way silage is going at the moment we've had a timber delivery some, some 10 foot length at the bottom and some uh, I think they're 8 foot lengths I'm not too sure um, at the top, so uh, they're just to do a job as soon as silage is over. We have a bit of a contracting job to do where we need it, so we just bought it now because we never know with uh, the way stuff's going if we can get a hold of it. We've got Sean's case here, he got the head gasket fixed on it and it's running smoothly now. He's also, well, we've gone 50 50 with him, or Mike's gone 50 50 with him to buy a buck rake. So then he can push up our silage and roll it in a lot more and then he can, it's his butt crank so we can go and do contracting jobs with it but it will do it for us for free to pay for some of the butt rate. And then the case Puma, Ian's just backing in the trailer, um, silage trailer, he's been out drawing silage for the local contractors. We did it for free because they're all there spraying a couple of our fields. They've got a really big sprayer, we really hire it off them. We don't have the time, so we drew, draw in some silage for them and they're uh, spraying the field for us. So then, uh, in Sean's building, such which is the castle shed, um, everything's in here. He's got some firewood and his trailers, the pallet forks off the telly handler there, and his processor at the back as well. There's a spare top link from the case, that's the one that he uses for the processor. That you needed, well, you didn't need, but you decided to buy a hydraulic link for the butt crate just so it's a bit more accurate when he's pushing the pit up. Um, and then the skizzy, or scraper cut as we called it, has got the side fork on it, the quads in there, and the glass um, scorpion telly handler has got the side fork on it, top of it in the back. Um, the Ford 6640 Power Star has gone back because we couldn't afford to keep it here, we were able to buy it but we can't afford it at the moment. The quote is still down with duff and um, we have got the um, glass area and it, we were renting it but we've got a slightly newer version of it in on demo now, um, so that's on the tether. And then we bought another barrier so all these sheds are locked in a lot more and the John Deere forage is there. We plan to chop tomorrow morning or late this evening. It's about midday now and we're just raking and mowing at the moment. Um, and then the everything's in there. And also the bale wrapper that has been serviced. And the pit's cleaned out ready for silage. And then in here we have Connor in the Massey 3080 with the oh fella rake. So this field, we started to cut it and we've now got the mower fixed and going well. Um, so we had to tell it out because we've got a little bit of rain in between. But now we're raking that up, let it dry a tiny bit more and hopefully chop this field and put it in the pit tonight or possibly tomorrow morning. And then we'll do second cut hay off of this field. This field here is going to be first cut hay. Um, we grazed on this one quite late. Um, it's 
last year, that's where they're getting up. So everything's here, quite crowded, we've got the Forrester trailer, the Red Rock, um, Tanker, the NT Dom trailer, the Justin Tipper, and everything in here. And then obviously, the Massey just doing that field. And then down at the, um, this field, the contractor zone, they've got a top row of wire on. They've still got to finish that. The, this is low priority, the spent signs, they're not. They were going to graze on this wheel this year, but now they're not, they're just going to use tire to drop it. So you'll see me going in here soon. So now over here, Sean's Jeep, he has bought a dozer. It's um, a small cap dozer, it's got a homemade camera for it, and he wants to put a forestry wink on it. And um, he wants to do a lot more skidding work. This would be perfect, it's a really nice small dozer. It's an old one, but it would be quite good. Someone's had a go at restoring it, but it's doing a really good job. So he might try and do that if he gets around to it. So his jeep's just pulling it up the road. His uh, tyres are quite bold though, he might get to new ones soon. So this obviously will be hay in here. And over here, Mike is in the class Arium with the class Tedder. The Arium we got the demo, the Tedder we own. So this field was cut yesterday, we got a light shower of rain which is annoying. So we're telling it out again, we let it dry, rake it late this evening or tomorrow morning and uh, then chop it the day after, hopefully. So in next episode you'll see everything getting put into the pit. Then down here a lot has happened. So Sean has been flat out the past week as you can see. So he's got our Yanmar down here. He's um, been boring it. He's got the ripper, the grading bucket, the rooting fork, you can't see it too well, is behind the bucket. And you see the end of the ripper sticking out in the grading bucket. Um, his forward is parked up, the pallet lift at the back of his case. He's got a bit of wood. Um, I apologise for the noise in the background, that's a tree branch falling on the shed. Um, and then the log splitter and his little damper and digger. So as you can see, he's put a concrete pad in here. He's going to put a building up. He's also dug the rest of the bank out around the back. Um, he has put a fence up here. Um, he couldn't have full post. He just did it. He cut a load of logs. He's got a few left. And um, dug them in with his digger and He's done a decent job of it to be fair, um, you know, you can't have a hedge in this one. Um, with a few plants and it will thicken up soon. So, um, over here he's got a few little which left that he wants to leave fence along here. He hired in a roller from Gary's farm hire and he rolled obviously to the inner base of this concrete pad. He's got a French drain going along the side of it. But, um, here he's had a lot of young man for about a week doing all this work and uh, he might use it for a little bit more um, but then it will go back to us or on to the next job so the roller is being collected in about an hour because Gary's got a delivery to do then he'll be coming to get it the band tracks of the fort will come out to the border uh, pretty much in the hedge and he's also pushed this um, up a bit here so he's dug it out so he can just dig the rest of this off make more yard space so we can dig it back to the tree line because he's taken the stumps out already and then it would be a steep, steeper slope up into the woods but there'll be more yard space so you might see him do that with the animal next week then over here Connor is in the 6820 the we got it going the dry shaft it's snap um, we're gonna have to change the mower next year it's getting on in years to be fair the 6820 is getting on in years but it's still and well. um, so we just opened up this field as you can see and this will get cut, headed out and probably chopped in a couple of days time and go in the pit. But the weather's all over the place at the moment so we're trying to get it done. Uh, the pressure's really on at the moment to get everything in. So we're um, 6820 with all the forestry gardens just doing this um, at the moment. And everything's over in our little extra storage yard over here. And uh, the, all the gates are open and the contractors are spraying. We have um, did quite a lot of drawing for them, for them to come and spray uh, this for us because this case is set up really nicely on the sprayer. We've hired the sprayer before, but the um, case has got thinner tyres and the Puma, so it would be less crop damage. So um, we could have probably put it on the 6820, but um, we normally spray with the Puma just for the speed of it and it's a new tractor with all the electrics. But anyway, the contractor are in there with their case just spraying this up. Um, 
and down at Gary's plant hire he's putting out with a Kubota Mini Digger, a KX019-4 um, it just doesn't have a full cab, it's just a rocks machine so um, open cab, no glass and he's taking this out to a weekend hire um, for someone that's going to do some work in their garden the rest of his kit's in here at the moment apart from the roller which you'll go and collect after he drops this off and the contractors will come down and spray this field once they have finished spraying this field that's pretty much it for now, thanks for watching, any questions please leave in the comments and see you again soon.